In this video, I'll show you a few examples of how you can use the new CD spring constraint with a spline IK to create some dynamic motion. Okay, here I have a spline IK set up with a tip goal, a mid goal, and a root controller. And what I'll do is I'll set up a couple of spring constraints here. We'll set one up between the mid goal and the root controller. Like linear gravity and set a mass of eight. And then another spring from the tip goal to the mid goal with linear gravity and a mass of eight. And now I have a, a dangling spline IK. I can uh, change the spline type to a cubic spline. And now it has a little bit better effect there. Okay, another example of where you'd use a CD spring constraint would be to set up some secondary motion in a character's antenna that's on top of its head or something. Um, I have a spline IK here and I'll set up a spring between the mid uh, goal and the root controller. Only this time I'm not going to enable gravity. I'm just going to enable the linear spring and automatically set offsets I'll leave the mass at one. And I set up another spring between the tip goal and the mid goal. Same thing, a linear set offsets and leave the mass at one. Okay, and well there's a really stiff antenna there. Let's let's change the mass. If I change that mass to two on the first one and on the uh, second one here I'll change that to 5. Let's see what happens. Well, now it's a little too flexible maybe. So if I change that to 1.5 on the first one and maybe 3 on the second one. And there I have a nice bouncy uh, antenna. Okay, in this example, I only want part of the joint chain to be dynamic. So uh, I've set up a spline IK with a root controller, a tip goal, and two mid goals. And I have the mid goal one as a child of the root controller, so it'll move with it. And then I'll set up uh, spring constraints between the other goals. Uh, so I'll set one up between the mid goal and the mid goal one with linear gravity set offsets and a mass of 1.5. And then another spring between the tip goal and the mid goal with linear gravity set offsets and I'll give that one a mass of 5. And there we have a joint chain where only part of it is dynamic. In fact, this would uh, make a good setup for a dog's tongue. 